So, we have a new film called Proxima out now in UK cinemas. Let's talk about it. <laughs> Hi guys, it is Mr. Scotty Pie here, and I am back for another movie review. So as I said, uh, I went to the cinemas for the first time since all this pandemic happened last night. I went to the Cineworld Cinemas, and uh, just to about my experience of going to the cinemas at the moment, it's absolutely fine. Honestly, it's you go into the foyer with your mask on, uh, I booked my tickets online, um, there's some hand wash as soon as you walk in the cinemas and then you just everything else is normal you just get your ticket checked as normal you go to the cinemas normal when I sat down I took my mask off so I could you know take some snacks in and drink watch the film when the film is finished put my mask back on left the cinema it's fine if you're wondering if you should go or not go it's absolutely perfect it's exactly as you remember it with a few minor detail changes so the film I saw last night was a new French film called Proxima. It's a film that stars Eva Green and Matt Dillon. Uh, I hadn't seen anything for this film, didn't anything about it. There was two, I wanted to see a brand new film, so I've shown a lot of um, old films at the moment, such as um, Back to the Future trilogy, um, all the Harry Potter films, some Star Wars. Uh, Terminator trilogy, Batman trilogy, it's only all the old films again, all the old classics. But I wanted to see a brand new film. There's two brand new films out at the moment, Proxima and also Unhinged, which is a Russell Crowe film. Uh, aside to Proxima, which just keep at the top of the list, Unhinged is going to be my second film. I'll be watching that in the next few days, the next week. So if you do want to uh, hear my review on that and my thoughts, please, please do consider hitting the subscribe button to see when that comes out. Uh, if you also enjoy, do consider hitting that sub, uh, that like button. So, um, Proxima, as I said, I hadn't watched anything for it beforehand. I didn't know any trailers, I didn't look at what the storyline was. I just brought a ticket and went. This film is 100 minutes long. As I said, it stars Eva Green, who you will know from James Bond, Casino Royale, and um, films like Franklin, which I adore. Uh, she's in 300 Rise of the Empire. She's the main star of this. Also stars Mark, uh, Matt Dillon, as I said, and quite a few different uh, actors as well. Um, I, said, I didn't even realise this was a French film going into it until everyone started speaking French. But even that, it's not loads of French people. Because I said, Matt Dillon's in it, and he plays an American who speaks solely in English. So solely, he speaks a Russian once in a while. There's also a Russian guy who speaks Russian, French. And uh, Eva Green's husband in this one is a German person who at times speaks German. Uh, so it's subtitled at times, sometimes it's not. When the crew speaks to each other, they all speak in English. Obviously, that's not subtitled. Uh, but I don't mind. I love a, a foreign film. Anyway. I think some of the foreign films are better than most English-speaking films. I can give you example after example if you don't believe me. Um, but yeah, this was a little brief overview of the story. Because it's quite a basic story. Uh, it kind of tells us it's... Eva Green plays an astronaut who's gone on a first mission, which is also a parent, a single parent. And this tells the story of how a single mother has to deal with going through um, leaving her child to pursue her own dreams. She doesn't leave her child, she to basically the child goes to live with her dad. Um, and it's the relationship between the mother and her daughter. The daughter's only between five and ten max. Um... And it's kind of dealing with that relationship. You, it's nothing about the well, the NASA, not the NASA bit, but the uh, the space travel and the fact you're going up into do a space mission is very much the subplot. Uh, this is a slower paced film. You don't expect action and quick cuts at all, but it works so well for this film. Um, it's, I said, it's this. It's a very beautifully told tale of conflict with the Eva Green's character because she's got her own dreams that she's had since her childhood of going to be an astronaut and the fear of losing her child not losing her child as in actually losing it but losing time with her child 
while the child's away with her dad, she develops as a person. She learns to ride a bike. She makes friends. She excels in things that she struggled with. And the pain that Eva Green has to deal with is it's quite evident in her face and the way her actions. She's happy for her child becoming someone, but she's also afraid that she's not there to see it. And this whole film deals with that very well, and um, something I was a big fan of, really enjoyed how they did that. Um, if I had to pick holes in this story, it's quite difficult, because once you know what you're getting into, that it's going to be a slower-paced film, it's going to tell this story, it's quite obvious that the story is, there's no twists and turns in this film. Um, you get exactly what you want from this film. As soon as you know what you want, as soon as you know what it is, you get what you want. So there's not much things to um, dismiss in this film. I thought it was a really well told film. It was beautifully shot. Uh, the acting was fantastic. I did rate this film quite a lot. I really enjoyed this and it's one I would watch again. Not in a major hurry. Um, I mean, I'd have to give it some time to watch this again. Because with most slower paced films, it's not one you're going to rewatch over and over again. But when it's got such a solid storyline like this one did, uh, and beautifully shot and beautifully told, that it is one I'd like to rewatch and maybe show people. I like to rewatch films with people who haven't seen films. I like to see what their reactions are. And I like the reason I started this channel is because I liked watching other people's reactions and reviews. So I decided to do my own for that reason. and. I'd like to rewatch this film with someone who hadn't seen it and didn't know much about it themselves and do appreciate the art of cinema because that's what this is. This film is very much the art of cinema kind of film. It's not going to be a Hollywood blockbuster. It will win a few awards. I'm absolutely sure of that. It's that good. Major awards, I'm not so sure of. Um, but not because I'm bad for this film. I think it's just because some films are just not advertised for that market as well but I think small rewards especially in France and Europe I think it will do quite well it is very much an arty kind of film but as I said it's one I very much enjoyed and very much I will be watching again in the future uh, so if you do enjoy a very much a very well told story that takes its time to tell a story as it takes its time it's only about 100 minutes long but it tells such a well-rounded story and you don't feel anything's left out, but you don't feel this film drags either. So, I'm going to give you my score on this film. Um, I think I'm going to give this film a 7.5. A strong 7.5, a weak 8. I very much enjoyed this film. It wasn't a film that's going to go in my top 10 films of all time list. But it might make my top 10 films of the year. But obviously, there's not been many films yet to come out. And obviously, we don't know what's going to happen the year. So depending on what comes out the rest of the year, uh, this film could make it to my... Could be a, up there as one of my top films of the year. Because uh, it's better than a lot of new films I've seen this year. It has been, definitely. But, but we'll see. So yeah, I'm going to go for a solid 7.5 to a light 8. Uh, what's your opinion on this film? Have you seen it yet? Are you looking forward to seeing it? Let me know in the comments. I do respond to all comments, so let's do start a conversation. And if you did enjoy this video, please do consider hitting that like button. If you do enjoy watching movie reviews, trailer reactions, movie talk and video essays, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. And I hope you have a good day. My name's Scotty Pie, and I am out. And thank you for making it to the end of the video. If you'd like to drop a like, a subscribe, share, hit the bell notification, that would be amazing. And you will see on this side of my head, you will see another video which YouTube has recommended just for you. And on this side of my head, you will see a logo to subscribe to the channel. If you want to hit that, I will love you forever. Goodbye.